Hey guys, it's Kimberly. Welcome back to my channel, Home with Kimberly. Uh, this video is going to be a little different today. I'm just going to give like kind of a quick little life update, let you guys know kind of what's been going on since my last video, um, and just a couple things like that. First, allow me to apologize to my subscribers, which I have 101 subscribers now. Yay! So that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and supporting my channel. But I apologize because it has been so long since my last video again. It's probably been close to a month. Um, and just, you know, life gets crazy and busy and so many things going on. But I really want to try to commit to you guys to, at the very least, make one video a week, if not two, a week going forward. That's my goal. And of course, if I can do more, I'll do more. But at a mi minimum, I want to try to do one video a week for you guys. So... That's awesome that I have that many subscribers. So obviously you guys are seeing something on my channel that you like. So let me know what you want to see more of. Um, you know, I do a lot of different things, kind of depending what I'm in the mood to do. Cook a lot of cooking, the sewing videos. Um, I'll probably start doing some outdoor gardening videos coming up and stuff like that. So anyways, thank you guys so much. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet subscribed and you stumbled across my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Um, and just let me know if there are particular things you want to see, um, that you'd like for me, for me to film. So a little quick update since my last video, I was talking about how I had beat the cravings and lost 10 pounds. I think like within a three week period and I was doing the ketogenic diet and it was working wonderfully for me and I got to the point to where I guess I was trying to be a little too smart about it. I think I plateaued just a little bit so which happens in any diet your body always knows how to adapt you know to get back to that more level state um, and you just gotta push through that sometimes but I was doing some research and I saw where some people had kinda introduced some carb like carb cycling with their keto diet. Every now and then they would introduce carbs, kind of shock the system, and then get back on the keto. And that can kind of help you bust through those plateaus. Well, I had been doing keto, keto for about a month solid, doing great, it had really helped me to beat my, beat my cravings, like it took away my food obsession, like I said in my video. And so I thought, you know, I've been doing this for a month now, I can have a cheat day, no problem, I'll get right back on it. Well, <laughs> I'm proud to tell you that I am back up 10 pounds that I lost. Not really proud. Um, yeah, that was it. That cheat day that just sent me over the edge. One donut turned into four and it was ridiculous, the cheat day. And then after that, I just never really got back on it. So I do want to get back on keto. I think it's one of the di only diets that I've ever done that has worked so well for me that I'm not starving. I cannot stand trying to lose weight, but... I'm starving to death. That's why, you know, I don't stick with a lot of diets. So anyways, I do want to get back on that um, because it did work very well. So let me know if you guys have tried keto, if you're on keto, uh, what are your thoughts about it and how it's worked out for you. I'd love to know that. So getting into today's video, I decided to make one of my green juice smoothies. My kids and I love these. Um, I've used these before for weight loss, which you have to be disciplined. You know, it's, weight loss is all a mental game. And it just depends for me where I'm at mentally. You know, if I'm really there mentally, I can, I can do well. But like right now, I'm not. I'm sort of there, but I'm not there. So, um, but anyways, I use this for weight loss. Sometimes I'll do like a juice fast with these for like two, three days. Um, or I just, I've been making them from day to day, especially for my kids. Um, my daughter's starting to eat healthier. My youngest is still very picky. I can hardly ever get any fruits or vegetables down him, but a lot of times I will get him to drink this green juice because it just tastes really good. So the great thing about this recipe is you can tailor it to whatever you like, whatever you have on hand. That's just what I always do. Whatever green vegetables and fruits that I have on hand, that's what I throw in there. And I mean, it just tastes awesome every time. Just add more fruit. If you wanna sweeten it up more, just add more fruit. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. I am gonna have the recipe printed out um, before the video so you can kind of see what I used in my juice drink today. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. 
Also, I do want to mention I do have a request to do another sewing tutorial video and I am going to do that. I just want you to know um, I'm hoping next week I can get into that project and I'll try to get that video up for you guys next week. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing that I like to do is get out everything that I'm going to be using for my juice. I have all my fruits and veggies that I want to make and the great thing about this, you can use anything that you have on hand. Um, these are just what I currently have in stock, so that's what I'm going to use. This is my juice machine. It's a Jack Lorraine power juicer that my mom so graciously gave to me. I absolutely love it, and I'll try to find a link for this. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. If I find it, I'll put the link down below. So the first thing I like to do is prep anything um, that needs to go in the juicer that I need to take the skin off, which is what I'm doing with this piece of ginger. Um, anything that has a seed in it or any kind of citrusy fruit, you need to take all of that off before you put it into your juicer. Um, but most everything else, you can just kind of slice it up and put it right in there. So next I have my orange, and I think I'll just put an ingredient list at the beginning of this video so you can see everything that I put into this juice. So right now I'll just let this play and you can kind of see as I get everything into there and then I'll meet you at the end of the juicing process. And so here comes the fun part, just stick everything in the juicer. Of course, I've got my little helper with me, my daughter, and just let it start pouring out this delicious juice. I just put in one chunk at a time and you just kind of put steady pressure on it. She's pretty good at it now and um, just push it on through. And then all of these scraps and everything, I don't know if you saw earlier, they go in that little clear bin. It takes out all the skins and I'm actually going to be using that for a compost bin that I'm going to create here before long. So I'll probably do a video on that um, coming up. And here we have the finished product and I actually ended up adding some watermelon that I had in the refrigerator to kind of fill that up more. It takes so much fresh vegetables and fruit to make a good size container like the one you see here, but it turned out so delicious. You can flavor this any way you like or, you know, tailor, tailor it to your taste and your family's wants. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.